All right, I'm here with my friend Mike Rhodes. So this is a really interesting question I wanted to ask you. Um, you obviously became a millionaire at a very young age. 25 yeah. years old, you became a millionaire. And yes, uh, kind of just talk to us about how you got there and also how like your how it tied into your education and your leadership courses that you took. Yeah, and uh, so what a lot of people out there really need to understand when people become a millionaire is a millionaire doesn't always mean you have a million cash. A million means that you have assets, businesses, and receivables that equate to a million after your liabilities, expenses, and those kinds of things. So I was, you know, net positive a million dollars in assets by the time I was 25. And that was because I made, uh, you know, some really smart moves. My business had uh, taken off right away. Um, in the fuel business that I started, and uh, that led me to buy a gas station out of bankruptcy, and uh, I renovated it, turned it around, worked really hard, uh, fixed the hours, and fixed the store up, um, and so, you know, I, I bought it with seller financing for $102,000 down, and uh, the total property was $390,000. Um, and the business was paying for the entire note, seller finance note. And, um, and so let's let's talk about this because, like I said, there are people there that obviously don't have a lot of money, and like this deal is a lot better than people think because they're gonna hear that mm -hmm. oh, it, you know, it basically was like two hundred two, three hundred and ninety grand, correct? You said. Yeah. But in reality, price, you only put, put down one third. Didn't you also have two partners? So like, let's talk about your down payment. How much did you have to put down for that actual gas station? So the down payment for the overall fund, and I was the principal of the fund, so while I was doing everything and um, I had uh, my own brief benefits, um, I had two businesses going. I had the gas station, which was um, for a good long while worth a million and a half dollars. Um, but what did you on, put down? You're, you're missing. How much did you put down? Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I put down a total of $87,000. Okay, eighty-seven, and, and then your two other partners also? $87,000. Okay. Okay. Cool. Actually, cool. it was actually eighty-five to be eighty-five. Quite okay. It was eighty-five. Okay. So then the question is going to audience is going to ask now is how did you get the eighty-five? Because that's still a really large thing. And so, like I said, I think for other people that are going to be hearing yeah. this, like I said, you can you can do deals that are don't require eighty thousand dollars. Now, this deal that Mike was able to get, you know, eighty thousand dollars is a lar a large amount and. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but he was able to actually cash flow it. So once he put the money down, the business was paying for itself. But there mm -hmm. are other deals out there too that you know you have to be able to find partners. You're going to have to be able to get a network, and you can actually even bring it down to less. Maybe you are only putting down ten grand. Or um, Mike and I will talk in the future about hard money loans. There are ways for you to get into real estate where you put zero money down. You can go to a hard money guy that will finance your entire deal. You so you know what, Cena? You did you did ask a really important question: is how did I get the? Uh, and we're gonna have to make this on another video, by the way, because we're running out of time. So, but go ahead okay. if you want to finish. If not, I want to make another video of you getting to that eighty-seven thousand dollars. I'll the, I'll make it quick. I sold my house and car. I started uh, a business, and I have the money to buy the gas station. I sold my house and car, moved back in with my parents. Um, <laughs> See, that's a hustler too, because a lot of people won't do that. A lot of people will not take that kind of sacrifice where and and a, a select few people will do absolutely anything and everything to uh, put in the work and get uh, the rewards and, and you know but we are going to talk about because I do want to say and like I said this is going to be in the future guys if you are watching it we are going to talk about some other ways where you can get into business where you don't have to put down because you know it's great that Mike was able to obviously do that and turn into a millionaire doing, doing it that way but there are other routes you can go where you you know, Mike, that's really, really awesome that you did that. But, you know, there are ways that you can, uh, <laughs> you can do that. But like I said, this is what you got to be looking for. And like I said, the first step is that Michael was looking for these kind of deals. You know, like if you're not even looking for these deals or these deals are not coming your way and, you, and he had a good network, you know, he had these other two people or three. Yeah, you, you had two other investment partners, right? Well, the partners were uh, really only finance, and uh, one. Well, no matter what, you need that. that. Like partners are, are important, yeah, especially but, in the beginning. In the beginning, but anyways, we're running out of time, so let's go ahead. Let me and... just, let me just finish that thing. Okay, so we can ahead. open up that kind of worms. Is um, you know, I had partners, but I was the working partner. I was the one who was uh, on call, doing all the reports, doing all the finance, and I had basically silent partners. So, um, yeah, having that money was helpful, but. What I actually learned out of the whole thing is um, 
I didn't ever need partners. I had the money to do it myself, but I just got scared that I wasn't making a good deal and I didn't have faith in myself and it ended up being a rock star deal. And I shared the glory. Otherwise, it'd be worth a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's go to the <laughs> next video. This one went a little bit over uh, than expected.